later on with, with Ali Khan in the American side. Uh, we could give out a lookout for this guy. He seemed quite nippy. Quite a long run. He's coming from off the circle. 30 yard circle. This time use the pace of it, but third man, it's enough time to come around and Oh. Good running, very good running. Yeah. Yes, very good running. Very good running between the wickets. Because um the, the bowlers seemingly think that it was just one, but by the time he looks around, man, they were down the wicket and they made it almost comfortably. A little squeeze, but they made it. Good positive running by this the striker, Kumar, who was running to the danger end, he made the call. It's a good cricket all around, nice pacey delivery. And working with the pace he had, Kumar, as we watch again. This time down the wicket, didn't get all of it. It'll bounce away to the square leg fence, but another couple for Kumar. Yes, will only be two this time. They're turning, keeping the scoreboard ticking. Seven, five deliveries. Five, um, those are wide, but uh, you have five um, legal deliveries. It's funny how this short format of the game can, can change within a space of few balls. A few good hits gets the batsman going. As this is a glorious stroke. Inside out, over cover. Maximum. Saidai. Raku. Glorious cricketing shot as well. It was full. Not quite the half volley length, but on the up. Picked it up beautifully. And over the extra cover fence, one of the more pleasing shots to watch in cricket. And had a great result on that. Kumar, he moves into double figures. 13 for no wicket. Bull, uh, bulls after their first over. Kumar in 11. Yes, 13. Yeah, off and running. Good start. And uh, if they keep that up, another 13 and another 13. Well, they still need to um, maybe move a little further, but at least it's a positive start. It is a positive start. It is indeed to keep stay in the touching distance. And as, as I was saying, one good over that can happen at any stage in this short format. We've seen overs worth 20, 25, 28 runs. So even if you're behind the run rate for three or four overs by, by a few runs, you can catch up very quickly. And with the free li lease of license, you know, there's only eight overs. So the batsmen, there's nothing for them uh, to, to hold them back. So that attitude gives them that freedom. Right. And sometimes when it works, it changes games within a blink of an eye. A couple seasons ago, uh, this gentleman is coming in, Johnson. He was the MVP when the U.S. All-Stars four runs, as the umpire signals, four runs of Johnson's first ball. I was just mentioning he was the hero when the U.S. All-Stars won the title a couple of years ago. And um, it was a real tight over, and then, you know, he was hit for a six, and then he came back and he bowled the batsman, you know, and eventually the U.S. All-Star squeezed home. And um, he's here tonight. First ball was squeezed away for four runs. Let's see what he'll be doing with the next deliveries. Yeah, but one thing is clear, that the, the Bulls batters, they're not holding back. Sheikh went for the big booming drive of the very first delivery. It wasn't a bad one, but luck favored him on that occasion. As this one is found the gap ag again. It's an on drive all along the ground. Beautiful boundary, back-to-back -back boundaries for Sheikh. Well, well, well. Are we about to see uh, a repeat of what happened in the first innings? <laughs> Not quite there as yet, but as you have said before, Faisal, there's no fear in the batsmen. The very first ball is hit away for four. The next one was driven to um, close to mid-wicket area, down here for four again. So um, let's see what's going to be happening with this delivery. Yeah, those two shots have brought about the fielding change. Long on has been pushed back. Fine leg is back in the, in the circle, and there's a deep square leg, which now the fine leg in the ring has come right next to the umpire. So square leg is in, and the square leg fielder has gone finer. They 
trying to protect that onside boundary as Johnson once again. Um, Johnson went up in anguish as if that was a drop catch. Can't tell from here. But the way he reacted, as if, oh, he put him down. Yeah, Johnson made a good comeback. He seems to have a clear plan, not perturbed by the two boundaries. Still brave enough to put that ball right up and get it into the block hole and swinging if he can to get some early wickets. This time, Kumar is on strike. And we remind our viewers that uh, they are in the power play. So only three players can be outside the 30-yard circle. Hectic start, to say the least. It's a very, very sharp run stolen once again as Kumar went for the big heave. He got hit on the body. But the non-striker called him nice and early for that one run. The strike is rotating. Ten off the over so far of Johnson. That one ballooned in the ear. No fielders close enough to even make it look dangerous. Johnson has pulled his length back now. He's going for the conventional length deliveries. On both occasions, Kumar and Sheikh tried to get underneath and hoik him. But Johnson's length was quite good. As they call it these days, it's hard length. Very hard to get underneath it. Good comeback from Johnson. Oh, in the air, but hasn't got all of it. Fielder back paddling from covers. The two runs to finish off the over. 26 runs, 13 off the over. And Bulls are making a fist of it after two overs. 26 for no wicket. Yes, they are making a, fi a fight of it. It's not a, f a matter that they are trying to lay down and play dead. They are out there. They have lost their wicket. And they are playing with a no-fear attitude. You know, uh, I am here, I have a bat, I'm going to defend myself. And we're going to hit you out the park if you give us a chance. Yeah, they're, they're staying in touching distance. And as I said, at this stage or at any stage of this game, one big over will put them right back in the hunt. Good cricket to watch. And we had a close game earlier when London United played. And that game went right down to the wire and if Bulls can get a couple good overs here we are in for a thriller again. Yeah, I've just seen a firework went off uh, some fireworks are going off in the, in the background here uh, I don't know if they are celebrating or US cricket <laughs> US T10 no they are not but you know we, we can claim it <laughs> we can see it in the background. But you can clearly see that the, the weekend has kicked off a week after uh, Easter Friday night, happening place, the Lauder Hill area. Yes, the, the Broward Stadium, Broward County Stadium, that is now called, is in the city of Lauder Hill. Sometimes you hear, you know, they say in, it's in Fort Lauderdale or it's even Miami, but it's really in the, as Virgil would say, in the beautiful city of Lauder Hill. I'm sure this, this city and town and the county will be heard a lot more all over the world now that we expect a lot of international cricket happening. It has happened briefly in the past. West Indies played Bangladesh, India. CPL has been here. And but played New Zealand here as well. West Indies played New Zealand here as well. I don't know if it's final, but I know that Pakistan is supposed to play a tri-series here against West Indies and Bangladesh at some stage, so... We watch uh, another swing and a miss. And I also heard it through the grapevine that um, the Bangladeshi ladies, uh, not uh, Sri Lanka, and um, some other ladies, the West Indies and others, will be playing here not too, in not too distant future. They'll be having like six days or seven days of cricket right here at the stadium. Yep, yeah, indeed. As this one is launched into the night sky, has it got enough on it? Oh, he put it down and uh, let's six to add insult to injuries. 
No, you can hear the laughing over there. By uh, if you can hear, <laughs> microphone can pick it up. But he <laughs> oh, it's yeah. It's not. It's bad enough to drop the catch, but it went for six. No bowler likes that. A moment like this can change the entire innings. We'll have to wait and see. If that's the momentum push that they needed. Let's try to use the pace once again. Another floppy, sloppy bit of work. Oh. And another boundary to add to the six. So ten of two deliveries caused by pure fielding errors from the catchers. And that time it was Mr. Johnson who let that one through. He felt some of the <laughs> the stick, the sticking in the first in the, in the previous over, and now he let one through. Bad cricket, bad cricket. I don't think uh, Mac is pleased at all. That's his team feeling. Yeah, but Bulls won't be complaining. This one is another big swing. Didn't quite get hold of that at all. But the running has been excellent. We'll have to wait and see the throws to the batting end. But Kumar made it. Oh, is it O'Neill? Beg your pardon. It was Kumar, but the push was made by Shaikh, who is at the non-striker end. That ball had barely crossed the 30-yard circle. But excellent running. And that is why they are in the hunt, because the running between the wicket has been excellent. They are turning the ones into twos, and they are putting the fielders under pressure. And that's what you ought to do, when you, especially when you have a big total, no respite you know, um, for, for the fielders. Yep, the third over has come to an end. 40 for no wicket. Just keeping in touch. They're keeping in touch. And striking distance, yes. I remember there were 50 for without loss. It was 60. It, oh, yeah, it was 20 per over. Yeah, for the first three overs, the, the three. catchers were 60 for no wicket. But remember that the Bulls, they made a comeback, and they only went for, what, another 58 runs in the last six overs. So that's where they have the game in the hand. And if they're lagging behind at this moment, they have still time to catch up. And, of course, the, the captain can now extend his field. You know, they... they Power play is over, so more fielders are in the outfield. Spin into the attack. That's going to be crucial as well. Short boundaries. Spinner doesn't get it right. Can be in for plenty. This one is short, hot to square leg or deep mid wicket rather. Singles won't hurt the catchers, even at this early stage. They are going to make just singles. Oh, thank you. Well, toss up. Not a single. Sure, quite sure they they feeling captain has no problem with with, the, with those singles. Keep it to a single. Suraj Bali is a very experienced campaigner. He's at the ball increase. He's fired that one in. Wrapped on the pads, we got to look out for the umpire signal. Leg by yep. it. Yep. Excellent over so far. So far, it's only three extras in 43. Only three. Three runs. That's all that Bulls made in this over. So, good comeback from Suraj Bali. Some sloppiness in the last over, but. And that's out of here. That's a six. Suraj Bali was shorter in length. And Shaikh was very, very quick to pick that up and deposit it over square leg. So that's the first boundary of Suraj Bali's over. 49 for no wicket. Yes, so that was dispatched over the boundary for Saidai or Maximum or Raku. Or a half a dozen. Oh, and did I say six? <laughs> this one is punt down to mid-wicket again. Another fumble. But this time the batsman 
couldn't react quickly, so no damage done, only a single. So 10 of the over so far with one ball to go. So 50 has been brought up as well. Oh yes, 50. 50 without loss. 50 without loss. Final ball of the fourth over. In the air, it's coming towards us. But stayed inside, another drop. Oh, Johnson again. Johnson never looked like catching that under the ball. He was looking back at the fence, then looking up in the lights. And what that ball finally landed in his hands, it never got hold of that. So another sloppy bit of miss. And the baller should feel really hard done by. I think they need to go over and uh, dry the hands of Johnson. I think it could be having it could be having a little butter there. <laughs> Hardly one technical issue though. I was watching one of those games and I heard Kevin Peterson talking about this. Some stadiums they have like huge towers, but some have multiple towers like here. And when that ball goes over those towers into the darkness and then come back in yeah, into yeah, the light. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's very hard to pick, so you might be very yep. harsh on the fielder, but these things can happen. Th thank you for the reminder. Uh, that's true. That's true, because it's, it's very easy for us to sit in here and say that. But when you're out here, you know, we ha they have problems sometimes with the dew on the ball, and as you mentioned, with the, under the lights, with the, the, it's like it, it, it leaves and then it reappears. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's a very, very easy game when, when we are here. But believe me, when you're out there... You're totally right. So right. Start of the fifth over was a wide. This run chase. They need another 69 runs in four overs. Big swing. But end result is a dot delivery. Coming in right now, Mr. Iva Henry will be joining Faisal. Take it home. Watch another dot deliver uh, single added to the total, beg your pardon. Fifty three is the total. Four point three overs. As this introduction of spin has slowed the progress. But this one has been launched into the square leg fence, way over the boundary. That's the six for Shaikh as we welcome along Ivo Henry in the com box. Yes, indeed. You're saying that the spin would have slowed it up, but I bought some luck to the to the Bulls. They've taken that one <coughs> that one out of the park, and they're making small weather of the hundred and uh, hundred and eighteen for victory. So we're just past the halfway mark and um, partnership of fifty eight. So these two batters are going well. They're keeping pace with each other. Kuma is on 30. Sheik is on 25. So all of the bowlers have been battered out of the park. First over went for 13. Second over went for 13. So he was 26 from the two overs. So quite a, a, a launching pad. And this time he's going big. This one has gone. Oh, that is some acrobatic stuff down there. So Catching has been dis slightly disappointing for the catchers, but they've done well with their no, ground but he saved two, He saved four runs there yeah. because that one was going over, so he just volleyed it, volleyball it back into the field of play. That's the modern way of boundary, boundary riding boundary these days. Yes, yes. So he saved this team four runs, so they just run two in the meantime. This time he's playing with soft hands out to cover sweeper. Thought of two, but no way he's going to make two. So in the 60s, 61 for no loss. 61 for no loss. I think we got one more delivery to go in the fifth over. So another 58 runs needed in the remaining three overs. And Ivor, if you remember, the, the catchers, their innings, the first three overs yielded 60 runs. So if, if Bulls can do that at the back end of their innings, they will run out winners as we watch another wide. Yes, a wide down the left side and uh, cleanly taken there by the wicket keeper. Score advances by 1 to 62. And this time, this one is in the air. Man getting under it. This time, he, he spills the catch. 
Would you believe it? And it was a chance for one out, and they're going to be overthrows. It's a comedy of errors all around. It's another drop catch, and the backing up wasn't good as well. The ball is still flying in the outfield. Somebody needs to get hold of that thing. There's a comedy of errors. I mean, they're not catching anything. They can't even catch a cold in the dead of winter. Settled on later. No, we're on the lights, but there's no excuse for that. That one spent an eternity in the air. He got under it and put it down. So I think they're trying their best to give away this match. Well, at the end of over number five, it is 65 for no loss. Kuma is on 33. Sheik is on 28. 54 runs needed in the last three overs. Well within reach in this form of the game with all the wickets in hand. It's still a tough task. They're asking for 18 and over. It is but over, but, you know, they've, they've kept in the hunt. They, they never got above the run rate required, but they're in touching distance. And as we were talking earlier with Otley, one big over, which we've seen very often in this form of the game, the 20, 24 runs over. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I think the, the battle's there in control. I mean, you have the boundary riders. You have um, all of five men outside. We're having more... Spin, Serge Bali, it is, who is going to be taking up the attack. And this time he's going after him, but there's a man down there in the mid-wicket area. They can only get one, much to the delight of uh, of the feeling team. It's not a boundary. They're going boundary hunting. So 54 from 18. Now it's, now it's 53 from 17. This time he's going big. This one has gone out of here, going towards the swap shop. And landed safely beyond the boundary ropes. Really got hold of that one. Suraj Bali has been firing them in. This time he provided the length. And Sheikh got underneath that. And hit a massive six. And Bulls are well and truly in the hunt. Yes, seven from two. Deliveries still have another four to go. So, no, three deliveries. Beg your pardon. <coughs> yes, they're keeping pace with each other. So they've been doing very well in the extras column, just four extras. So the batter's been catching up with the, with the ball, getting that willow on the leather. This time he's going after him again. There's going to be one in the deep. You make a good point, Ivor, about the extras. As you were mentioning, me and Otley, in the first three overs of the catchers, they were 60 for no wicket. 13 of them were extras, and in a close game like this, this could well be the difference. Yes, so they're very disciplined in that area. So this one is up, tossed it up in the air. Why would he do that? He's not looking for wickets. I don't know why would Serge Bali do that. They're doing their very best to give away this match in catches, and now bowling up some lollipops. lollipops. Serving up a lollipop there. See what As, you know what he just said, that ball said? He am I. Hit me, hit me. And the hit it was. That's better. Flatter, faster. And he's getting the same treatment. He's going beyond the boundary ropes for yet another maximum. That's the batsman who's got his measure now. That's the big over we were talking about at the beginning of this over. Three maximums already in the over. And Sheikh and Kumar has put their team in a commanding position with only two overs to go. Yes, it's still a hard ask. They have to score 17 and over. Which is less than 18, though. It's less than 18, yes, yes. But like I said, still, still a hard ax. So let us see. What, one more delivery? Still got one more delivery to go. Oh, they're telling us here that it's over. So, okay, we'll watch and wait. <laughs> it's even Another bigger. big one. This it's one is coming bigger. back into the dugout of balls. <laughs> so four sixes off the over. And Kumar... Reaches his 15, grand style. That's a terrific knock. Made it's 26 of the over as the over ends at 91 without a wicket. Yes, so he went from he went from in the 20s in one over to 50. Yes, so he started in the 20s and he got to his 50 in one over. So that was a good hit in there. But 28 to win from 12, so we asked him for 14 and over. Still a hard ask, but Still a hard the ask, way the batsmen are hitting these days, you know. I mean, you can't say that the bowling team is completely out of it. 
but they would have to do something to get rid of Kumar and Sheikh. Yeah, they have any kind of chance. But if they, if they keep serving up lollipops, I mean, they're going to be cut it out. And out dropping half a dozen catches? They, they, they can't catch a cold, not even to save their lives. I think you can throw these guys in Iceland and they'll still come out, um, come out without being cold. They can't catch a cold. So now, what are we having here? Bowlers are afraid to bowl? They are afraid to bowl? <laughs> I don't want to be a bowler in this format these days because, you know, you, you have to kill your ego to become a bowler. It's any day of the week, you can be carted for, for plenty on a given day. As I heard Brett Lee once said, if you want to be a bowler in this modern day, playing the T20s, let alone the T10s, you got to shelf your ego at home before you turn up at the ground. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yep. Well, 91 for no loss. And let us see if we're going to see realize the 100 partnership. We have not seen that all day. So we have one more game after this. Lights goes off at 11 o'clock. I don't think we're going to get a full game, but nonetheless, we'll watch and wait. Playing eight overs, we just might. But 11 o'clock, lights going to be shut down. Now they're taking the time, and I think they should be taking pace off the ball. I know that Serge Valley served up some lollipops there, but we have a bowler coming from the 30 yard circle. And I think they need pace on the ball here now, so it might be easy picking here for the Bulls. Again, we welcome all you viewers, and if anyone's waking up at this time in the morning, yes, indeed, I say happy Sabbath to you. It means it's Saturday in your neck of the woods, and we are here in the United States, and this time it's in the air, and it's going to be taken this time. <laughs> you bet. Iowa, looking at the current record of the catchers, they haven't caught anything tonight, and that was no different. He never looked like getting it, and as it happened, the name is Catchers, but, it needs but they to haven't caught a fly today. Of course they have to change that name. I mean, that one was the easiest one of all now. I mean, apart from the one that the keeper would have let off in the, f in the second over, this time, okay, he's going to be getting some ones here, at least two. Oh, they settled for one. I thought they would have been trying for the second. But nonetheless, um, I guess Kuma wants to be on strike, so he settled for one early. Got a lot of people <coughs> watching from New York. Our good old friend Lenny, and at Arch Bar. He's, he's tuned in and enjoying oh. the coverage. Hi to Lenny, and you. we hope you're cold. We're not here. It's nice and warm. We watch another short pitch delivery, pacey yes. delivery, looking uh, around at the square leg umpire. Well, I can tell you, it's three good deliveries, just two ones. A drop catch and then a single and a dot. So is this the over to pull it back? I think it's climbing to 16.7 and over, so. It changes so quickly. Like, like I said, it changes deliveries. quickly. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's hard to maintain 14, 15 ones and over. But then again, you still have three deliveries can produce 18 ones. So we'll see. Oh, out of the edge. Out no luck for the bowler this time. No chance for the fielder. And that's the boundary of the over that Bulls were looking for. They got lucky. But in the end, they all count. No, they, they need another. They need a, they need a, a maximum or um, two more deliveries. They need a four and two or, or a six to stay in the hunt. It is still what last over, anything over 15 is going to be pressure on the batsman. So <coughs> they need to cut it down to at least 12. So they need boundaries here. These run chases, which were 15 of the over to begin with. See, no just it's going to be one. So the, the bowler who is bowling the last over, I think this bowler bowling the penultimate over has done really, really well. Yes. So he's just taking it up to 17. So it, they need a boundary here, a definite boundary, even 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 a four. 
so that the equation can come down some. Because the last over, you're asking them to get 17. Will it come down to those extras, five wides here and there? We'll have to wait and see as another dot ball. There it Casey is. delivery. Now you need over 18. It's 19, they need 20. 20 runs over. of the last over. So I'm big saying, ask. Big ask. But as you were saying, the bowler, Nakui, mm -hmm. did a terrific job. No, it's not impossible. It's just a hard, it's a hard ask. All you need to bowl is two, two locks or two singles, and you're supposed to do it now. Well, 20 of the last six delivery. Yes, 20 from six. And let's see. Johnson has been summoned into the attack. And uh, I can tell you, no, he's stiff. Johnson was carted out of the park here at the U.S. Finals. And they brought him on to defend less than six. And he did it. And they won the champion. They won the championship. Hi, Lenny. Good evening. It's 99. And... Uh, They've put the life of the catchers into the hands of uh, Johnson. Lefty, they call him here. Johnson had a couple of blunders in the field. He must be feeling the pressure, but so would be the batsman as well because they've got that far, but that penultimate over has put the pressure right back on them. So it yes. could still be anybody's game. Yes, well, you know, Kuma, well, he is... He was drinking meat for him earlier in the inning, so and there it is. There's a dot, and uh, one more dot, and I think it's good night, nurse. One more precious three. dot at this stage. Yes, it's 24. So one more dot is going to take it over if they have to hit. Um, if they have to hit six sixes from the next four balls, it would not be enough. So this delivery is going to tell the match. Need a boundary. And he's not getting it. Not going to get it. Not going to get it. 19 of 4 deliveries. Mathematically still possible. But they need 3 maximums out mm -hmm. of the 4 deliveries. Mm -hmm. No. It's mathematically it's not possible. It's possible because 3 sixes will make 18 and a single will make it 19. That's the target of 119. Four deliveries to go. Yes, yes, four deliveries. You're right. So, and that is within the channel. That's within the channel. Why wait for the umpire signal. It's a buy, I think. Yeah. It's a buy. So it's a single. They need boundaries. The single. Now is they need hand. three sixes. Simple equation. Well, simple to say. It's a small matter of three, three sixes from three balls. Just right. a small matter. Funny enough, it happened so a couple of years ago. Is, this no is the. This is the. Right, no extra ball. But this is the delivery will determine the match. If it's a four, the match goes to the fielding team. If it's a six, it's th they stay alive. Anything less than six, the fielding team can start to jump for joy. Yes, they can jump for joy. They can jump for joy. Mathematically, the catchers have prevailed. I said, Johnson, he coming back to bowl that last over. He has done it before. He has been here before. Got battered out of the park, and the very last over, they put it in his hands, and he came back and came back well. And then it was one of the highest bidder in the in the draft the following year. Yes. So under pressure, he comes through every time. They can hit all the sixes in the world now. There it is. No, they're dancing now, but they don't have to dance now. They didn't even need a wicket. They didn't need a wicket at that time. They... The, the, look at the strike rate. Required run rate is 102. That's cricket for you. It was a good match. Nonetheless, they entertained, and it's the first 100 partnership in, the, um, in this tournament so far. So they did well for themselves, kept it interesting. Down to the very end, they just couldn't dock the ship. And I think Shaw has gotten a weak heart. He has got up. I didn't realize what's going on. He has got to catch himself. Drink some water, Shaw. Yeah, it's a water. Um, it's he's heartbroken. That sometimes you know you need to lose a wicket early, even though they were dropping catches. It paid off because in the end, 
they played too many shots, one too many, and then they just couldn't get out, out of the park. But it's always hard to keep up a run rate over 15. I'm telling you, that's one good over from a bowler, and they're going to put the pressure on the batters. But very good game, and Johnson, again, is going to be the hero just for keeping his nose. Exciting game of cricket, but the last ball. Johnson, another full Yorker. And Sensational over to finish off. That's a beautiful game. Never say die. 102 for one. The scoreboard looked good with only one wicket. But in the end, catches prevail. They dropped at least six catches. And they still came out being the victors. Could you imagine that? Well, folks, stand by for the next match.